Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pinwheel block. They look very striking on quilts. They're best made with a plain colour next to a pattern like this or you can do something like black and white or red and white. Um, a really strong colour next to a not so strong colour. The one I do in the video is actually this which is two patterns alongside each other which isn't quite so striking but I still like it. Anyway, let's get started. To make one square you will need two squares of fabric. My squares are 8 inches by 8 inches. I've got two um, pattern pieces here but you can do one patterned and one plain piece. It's entirely up to you. So put the pieces together with right side facing and then I put a few pins in just to hold them in place. And on this one we're going to sew all the way around the edge. At your sewing machine, sew taking a quarter of an inch seam allowance and you're going to sew around all four sides. Don't leave an opening, just sew all the way around. So when you get to the corners, if you're not quite there, do an extra stitch and finish with your needle down, lift your presser foot and pivot. Lower your presser foot and then carry on sewing to the next corner where you do exactly the same. Keep going all the way around your square until you get back to where you started. Then place your um, square on your cutting mat and you need to cut diagonally from one corner to the other. Line your ruler up and cut straight across diagonally with one clean cut. Then leaving your fabric square where it is, turn your ruler to go from opposite corner to corner. Again, with a nice clean straight cut. You are now left with four pieces. Open them out so you'll have one pattern on one side and the other pattern on the other side. So just open out all four pieces. First set all your seams with a hot iron by gently pressing. Then open out all of your pieces and if you have a darker colour press your seam towards the darker fabric so it can't be seen through the light fabric. Finger press first and then press with a hot iron. Try not to swish your iron about. Try to hold your iron still while you are pressing. There is a temptation to swish it about but try and hold it still. Before sewing these squares together I like to trim off the little ears on the corners. Then arrange my squares in the positions I'm going to sew them together. So we want to get the points all in the centre and we want to alternate between the two different patterns, just like this. Now you need to sew the two top pieces together and the two bottom pieces together. So I start with the bottom two pieces, matching up the points first and then pinning down the side you are going to be sewing. And then do exactly the same with the top two pieces, right sides together, matching up the points so that they fit nicely together and then pinning down the side you're going to be sewing. Then at your sewing machine, sew together taking a quarter of an inch seam allowance. I find this works best if you start at the end, at the pointed end where the joins are. When you've finished your first piece, do a couple of extra stitches and then start on the next piece. No need to cut your threads here, just carry on sewing. Again, taking your quarter of an inch seam allowance and starting at the end where you have the points. Then set your new seams by gently pressing and then you can open out and it should look something like this. Set the seam of your other piece and open it out. Finger press and then press with a nice hot iron. When you press the top piece, make sure that you press the seam in the opposite direction to the bottom piece so that they can sandwich together nicely. Then pin the two sides together, making sure that all your points are going to meet at the centre. So make sure you very carefully match them up and then either pin or clip the centre to keep it in place. And then we're going to sew all the way along this top seam, taking a quarter of an inch seam allowance. The centre is quite bulky with all the seams, so it is a little bit tricky to sew over the centre. So be very careful at that point. When it's all pinned, just open it up and check to see if all your points are going to line up. Then at your sewing machine, sew across this seam, taking your quarter of an inch seam allowance. There is a lot of bulk at the centre, so you may need to also pull it through a little bit to help it on its way. 
then set your seam with a nice hot iron, open it out and finger press your seam and then press. If you like, you could press this seam open rather than to one side because it is rather bulky and I would suggest doing that actually. And that's your finished pinwheel block. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you've enjoyed it and you haven't already, would you please consider subscribing to my channel? Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.